We are now on. All right, so here we go. What's up, guys? You got Fly Society, formerly USC Dynamite here. And Papa Frank, and we're here to commentate Aloha, who's given us both uh, a lot of headaches back in our tournaments, versus Clubber Dan, and that's going to kill. Clubber Dan is a name I haven't heard in a while. The last I heard of him, he was a Zelda man. I don't know really? if he still is and just prefers Zero Suit for this matchup, or if he just made the full transition or what the deal is. Well, there's one thing he did right. <laughs> Kill Pikachu at, like, 80. Yeah, Aloha trying to find an opening with Forward Air. Um, gonna have to take the stock real soon if he doesn't want this um, lead to get any bigger. Yeah, we all know how crazy Zero Suit's kill potential is. Even on a character like Pikachu, who's really small and slippery, Zero Suit has all sorts of confirms and things. So Aloha's gotta be extra careful. Yeah. Also, a lot of safe and shield moves. Um, feel free to pressure the rat. Aloha trying to find a down B at the ledge. I'm trying to find, uh, he's, I think he's expecting Flubberton to be a little bit more greedy with his um, flesh wrapping, but not gonna work out for him yet. Yeah, Flubberton doing a good job just playing reserved and not taking any unnecessary risks here because that, like the way Aloha plays, that's what he wants. He wants people to do stupid things. He wants them to mess up because that's how Pikachu can get his momentum. We're ever so slightly getting closer to the percent where one of Pikachu's throws will kill, but still this this percent advantage in Clubberton's yeah. favor is, is just growing. This is an awkward time. situation for Pikachu, but that Nair down smash to tried and true, that is going to get Aloha out of that sticky situation, but still definitely not out of the woods just yet. Okay, Nair not going to find the follow-up. Aloha, seeing a 102, any strong hit from Sears and Samus will kill, but finding a lot of back here. That looked like a lot of hits, it only did 18. It, that's how Pikachu works, but yeah. it, it's kind of like the brain damage you get from getting hit so many times that you're like, can I play the game? I paid $60 plus the entry to this tournament, I want to play the game. And you just start doing like really sloppy things trying to kill Pikachu. Yeah, but Clubber Dan playing anything but sloppy at the moment. <laughs> well, as soon as I say, I don't know what you, you're supposed to do there, probably a flip kick. That Maybe. was a little bit of awkward positioning, but that That's will definitely kill. do it. Keeping his composure. All right, Aloha finding an up tilt, but now sending at his last stock for this game one. Okay. Wow. Shield grab from I, I love that grab right there. That's crazy. I don't think anybody saw that coming. All right, dash attack through the shield. Finding a Nair into a back here, getting so more damage on Pikachu. Almost, almost a stock lead. A yeah, stock lead. on the verge of lapping. Aloha here. This is definitely troublesome for our little rat friend. Okay, back here, gonna find his mark, but nice tech coming in from Clover Dan. That will is be the game, I'm pretty sure. No, oh, okay, okay, Pikachu's not Pichu like. That's true. Good DI coming in from Aloha. Well, how did he get hit by that? He got a little bit too greedy. I saw the down smash animation start. I'm wondering if he's gonna do something like Mars where he just like goes off stage and like down here. So. Oh, yeah. Zero Suits definitely got the potentials there. No. Oh, oh, you hate to see it. The little red that couldn't. Game one is going to go to Clover Dan. Yeah. Huh? Very, like, honestly, as far as your suit play goes, that wasn't the flashiest I've ever seen, but, like, it was incredibly effective. Clover Dan just picking his spots very wisely and not, like, I can't think of very many times, if any, that he overextended or did something really unwise against Pikachu there in that situation. He played his advantage state incredibly yeah. well. Very solid play coming from Clover Dan, and now Aloha is carefully considering all his stage choices. Maybe we'll see a switch to Pichu. I know that he's been playing him a lot more now. Has Found he? Found some newfound, like, hope after watching Arfang. I mean, even with those shield buffs? Oh, okay. Let's say with the chunky rat. The party hat comes off. This is business time for Aloha. Business time. So here we go now into okay. game two. I mean, you can you can tell. I'll replay if we go. Going into game two here, we have Clubberdam versus Aloha in final destination. I like this pick from Aloha. Zero Suit doesn't yeah, have those me. platforms to mess around with. And 
able to really get a good neutral going here. Starting off with a nice lead. Not going to mean anything if he can't convert this situation into a kill, but this is looking very good for Aloha at the moment. Definitely a stark contrast to what we saw in game one. Ooh, Thunder Jolt almost doing something at ledge. Oh my god, I looked away for a second and... Nair up smash. <laughs> Pikachu can just do whatever he wants out of that Nair. He really did it. This is looking incredible right now for Aloha. Clubber Dan. We had it. We have not really seen how he plays with a stock disadvantage yet in this set. Yeah, so this it. is going to be interesting to see if his play style is any different here. He yeah. seems to be a little more antsy at the moment, just really trying to get something started here. Makes Almost an exact reverse of last game. Yeah. Makes me wonder. I didn't pay that much attention last game, but could it be that the lack of platforms has made his movement a little bit more? I think so. And I don't think the platforms are a huge deal with Stadium 2 as it is. But I think they're a big enough of a deal to really deter Zero Suit Samus when they're not there. Oh, trying to find the jab lock and going for a dash attack. It's not going to connect, though. OK. I got to go play Papa again. Papa Frank has a tournament match, so I'm going to be flying solo unless somebody decides to join me here. That thunder, nice placement there. Clubber down going to be able to avoid it, though. Seems as though I may have a partner here on commentary. Hello, guys. It's yours truly, <laughs> uh, Marvelous Marco, commentating with Dynamite. So we got USC Aloha versus Z Clumberdan, or I don't know. Yeah. By the way, speaking of USC, guys, if you're single and depressed <laughs> and you're looking for something to do on Friday night, we've got you covered. <laughs> Hot singles in your area. That is the oh name of our bi-weekly. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, like Dynamite said, they have a tournament happening at USC. It's very, very nice. Uh, the venue is very, very clean. You know, it's USC. You guys you guys should go check it out. This Friday night, smash.gg slash USC smash, twitch.tv slash USC smash club. <laughs> nice. But let's talk about Aloha right now. Yeah, oh. Aloha going crazy. Oh, that's Oh, it. no. <laughs> Oh, oh, you, you saved, saved him! him hey. Nice, nice. Homie stuck now, All right. I'm pretty sure you didn't want that, but we take that. Clumber Dan, Clumber Dan. So, hey. yeah. anyway, last this is looking completely different from last game. Last game, Clumber Dan kind of gave Aloha the work. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it was a two stock. He just, like, he got the stock lead, and Aloha just couldn't kill him. Okay. Well, this is looking completely different. Yeah. Honestly, it should have been a 3-0, 3 stock, I mean. But Aloha saved them. That's definitely a thunder right there, yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah. so not a 3 stock. Don't let it be a JV, Clever Dan. There we oh, go. Yeah. Still not completely oh. out of this match just yet, but, I mean, it's going to be tough. I'll say that much. Oh, Aloha, how are you going to close it out? Come on, dash attack, of course. That will not do it. Damn. Incredible DI combined yeah. with that air dodge there from Clubber Dan. Absolutely nuts. All right. Down smash, do something. I feel like that could have been down smash or something. Oh. I feel like, there you go. That's that will yeah, definitely yeah. be it, yep. Yeah, that's definitely it. Aloha taking that game, two-stocking Clubber Dan just like Clubber Dan did to him. And now we arrive at the tiebreaker here. I think the stage list here is going to be very beneficial for Clubber Dan. It's honestly going to be really good for him that he won oh, game Smashville. one. Oh, that's not what I would have expected. But, I mean, I could I could see it, honestly. I think the up Bs, like the down smash into up B is going to kill pretty up. early here. And that platform might give – a way for Clubber Dan to kind of pinpoint Pikachu's slippery movement. All right, I see that. Both of them being actually very, very slippery, in my opinion. Yeah. It's These characters annoying. can be a nightmare if you don't manage to get the right hits. And we yeah. saw that from both sides of the matchup already in this set. All right, so this is it. Play your all your cards out. Let's see what you got. Interesting that he went for a forward smash there. I wonder if that was intentional. Either Ooh. way, we got Clubber Dan racking on some good damage right now. 
Up smash. Nice punish on the dash attack there. Gonna get him off stage. Oh, no and jump. Even no jump. To nice punish that recovery there. Okay, get me out of the corner. So, Mark, if you're Clubber Dan right now, what are you trying to do to change things from the way they were last game? Uh, well, honestly, <laughs> I'm very bad at this. <laughs> I'll try. And, I'll try not to get hit. <laughs> you see, yeah. Like, yeah, there you go. You see, <laughs> that's just that's a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Try not to get hit, and just honestly, just trade. I would want to keep trading with Pikachu because I know he's lighter than me. I'm pretty sure. And then eventually, once I see my kill percentage, kill percentage, just go for a down smash, um, a B. Honestly. And I know it's going to kill. It might even kill right now at the ledge. I think it probably will, considering Zero Suit has just a little bit of rage. Getting out of that up throw thunder. I don't know if Aloha's hit any of those this set. I don't blame him because Zero Suit has that flip kick to yeah. get out of jail free. Oh, nice. Um, that, that got rid of the tether resource. The down B has been expended, but the up B. Oh, okay. I don't know if I really like the use of Paralyzer against Pikachu, just because Pikachu can low profile it super oh, okay. easily. Look at that! Just wow. one back air, like at what eighty? Yeah. Damn, so this could either be really good for Clubberdan, or it could just become even, like right now. This is all on the low high right I now. I feel like it's a dash burden. attack. A dash attack. He's gonna go for a dash attack. Up if throw should do it. it pretty soon, if not already. Ooh. Oh, that's no, no. Nah, we're not Pichu. That ain't Pichu. <laughs> <laughs> Look at so that flip kick to get out of the yeah. ledge there. Pikachu wasn't really able to do anything, but that will be the stock. 180-something. 545 on the clock. This match definitely taking its time here. I wonder if that's going to end up becoming a factor at all. Probably not. It's not going to look like it, in my opinion. It Aloha. might go down to two minutes. Perhaps, yeah. Aloha already looking pretty damaged on the stock here. Yeah. Oh. OK. No, no drag down combos. Oh, I like that back here. Get out of right there. Fair, fair to fair. Has stage control. How is he going to get off? He doesn't. Not. Oh, that could have been a jab lock. Okay. Flip kit, yeah. So a lot of, obviously a lot of service attempts is like to flip kit out of disadvantage, right? Yeah, so and I, for good reason. Yeah. There's not much Pikachu can do about it. Mm, I mean, if you get the read, I feel like you can punish it really, really good. But Aloha not realizing it. Is that going to be? No, okay. Not going for the Thunder combo. So we have an incredibly even match here. The pace is picked up too. Yeah. Aloha actually bringing it back. Oh, is that going to kill? Yeah. yeah. You never know which direction that thing's going to send. So it's kind of hard to DI it. Oh. That. Oh. I wonder if he had intended to go for a down smash there. Aloha right now playing always from the behind. Yep, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, has not gotten a lead See, this whole entire match. Well, it doesn't look like Aloha's behind by that much, but against Zero Suit Samus, who's so hard to hit, like this can be really draining just to get this stock and yeah. then have to take a whole nother one after that. So the earlier he can get this stock, Ooh. obviously, the better. Oh, that gimp. will do it. Nice gimp right there. Expertly that calculated stop? from Aloha. <laughs> They both lose. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing from the people background, they're like, I hate these characters. I wish they both lose. No one wants to play these characters, hey, apparently. Hey, oh, hey, nice little combo. Hey. Oh, nice little string. 3 1 damage. Oh, oh, are you dead? Oh. No, okay. Nah. Okay. That, that looked sick. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? I mean, I know it's e a thing. Isam would have killed him there. Uh, probably. Isam <laughs> would have probably three stocked him. Aloha I, right I now with the that. momentum, though. Lucky sevens, though, for Clubber Dan. Let's see if this can. See if this is what he needed. Oh, still can't get in. A little scared, staying in shield a little too much. Clubber Dan needs to ma re maintain his composure here and yeah. fast before this goes down the road of Aloha. Oh, that's and that it. That will be it. That's it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Game three victory GGs. coming from Aloha. Excellent set right there. Both players showing how they're able to dominate the other in advantage state. And that game three just coming down to a last Honestly, stock battle of patience. Yeah, that last stock from Aloha because he was losing the whole entire game. Yeah. And so the very end. He just made sure not to rack on 